This video is going to show you how I install Civilization 3 Conquests onto Windows 7. Uh, this is Windows 7 Home Premium, but I've also tried this on other versions of Windows 7 and Vista. Um, I'm inserting my Civilization, my vanilla Civ 3 CD. Uh, your media may differ if you have gold or complete, or if you downloaded it from Steam. Uh, my path is this, we'll do the CD, I'll run that, install Civ 3, it's asking me to use your account control confirmation. Alright, the problem that uh, Windows 7 and Civ 3 have with each other is Civ 3 likes to store data in its program file area, Windows 7 and Vista don't like that. So what we're going to do is give it a different place to install. Uh, let us uh, open an explorer window. I've got one right here, but you can go to you know documents or any any explorer window. Uh, go to your computer. We're going to go to your C drive. Uh, users. Public. And we're going to install Civ 3 under here somewhere. I'm going to make a folder called Games. Just in case I have any other older XP games I want to install the same way. And under here, I'm going to make a new folder called Civ 3. And now, I'm going to pick that folder to install Civ 3 to. And again, Windows 7 and Vista don't like you, doesn't like programs that save their data under here. It causes problems. So we're going to go Users, Public, and these are the folders that have created games in Civ 3. We're going to put it right there. and that will allow the game to run properly and let you add modifications, uh, create your own scenarios, that kind of thing. It also helps with uh, MapStat and CivAssist 2 uh, to let them see the, the save files and do their thing. Uh, so again, I've got the vanilla Civ 3 CD and then I've got a Conquest CD. Uh, and the Conquest CD patches the vanilla sieve and has fully patched Play the World but then I have to go back and add the last patch for Civ 3 Conquest and again if you have Gold or Complete or Steam you may have a different install path in this or sequence in this And it looks like we're just about install, done installing, installing the first CD files. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, register, no thanks. Never register. Yeah. We'll go ahead and let it place a shortcut on desktop too. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next CD, which is for me Conquests. Alright, we'll install Civ 3 Conquest. And I don't have to tell it where to install this time. It sees where the first one is installed and installs itself in the same place. It's just a DirectX information, which is a much later version, of course. Alright, we're just about done with the Civ 3 Conquest CD. Um, it's one asked me to override a uh, read-only file. Yes, we want to do that. It's a Civilopedia text file, so yes. Registration, no thanks. Never. 
And no, I don't want GameSpot Arcade either. Don't want it to read me right now. What do I do with the icon? Okay, so there's a CD. Uh, now I need for my version of the patch, which I've already downloaded some extras and put them in a f handy folder here. This is the uh, the patch I need. Again, you may or may not need this patch. Okay, it knows where to put it. That's good. That you, remember our user's public games, so it's found it. Alright, so I would recommend you at this point, before doing anything, any modification, is start testing this to make it work. Uh, I'm just going to try to run it. This is going to fail, but we're going to try to run it anyway. And for my version, I have to have the Conquest CD in the drive, which I do. And I have no idea if I'm still recording because it's changed resolutions on me. Okay, escape. Okay, I actually expected to have to set compatibility mode on this. Well, just for grins. Let's see if this is actually working right now. We'll go back and do a quick start. Um, wow, how about that? Alright, so we're in business. I'm a little surprised. I thought we had to set Win XP compatibility mode. <laughs> I lost.